again, welcome back. I hope you are well. If you are returning, then it is great to see you again. And if you're new, then hello, nice to meet you. Um, basically, this video is going to be what a lot of people will call a haul video. In Scotland, we don't say haul, we just say we've been shopping. So this is what I have bought quite recently. Uh, I've not done a lot of these in a while, basically because if you've been watching my channel, you'll know I've been doing a lot of decluttering, uh, be it clothing and makeup. I will put videos above. If you like declutter videos, they will be for you. This video, however, is an accumulation haul. Uh, I didn't go out and spend a lot of money at one time. Some of these items I picked up as long ago as kind of February, March. I think February might be a push, but definitely March. So not all of them will still be available to you, I'm terribly sorry, but I hope you enjoy watching this and get something out of it for seeing what I've been wearing over kind of spring and summer. The other reason I went and picked up a few new pieces is because I am going on holiday at the end of the week and it kind of just comes as part of the territory. I needed new bikinis, things like that. So I've been out for a wee shop. Now for reference point, I am a size UK 12. Generally, in dress sizes, you know, an all-in-one thing, I will be a UK 12. On the top half, I can go anywhere from a 10 to a 12 because I really don't have any of these. And on the bottom half, I can go anywhere from a 12 to a 14. And depending on the shop I go into, I could pick up a dress in a size 10 and fit in it and pick up a pair of jeans in a size 16 and not fit in it. You know how it is. Try not to think of numbers, just wear whatever makes you feel comfortable and whatever you feel good in. Does not matter about the numbers. I certainly don't let it bother me. That also goes for a size kind of medium as a whole, just so you get an idea. I will be trying these on throughout the video, so if you like this kind of thing, then please keep watching. So all of the items that I've picked up are mainly high street. I think I have some, actually, high street and supermarket tell a lie so i've got a couple of things from tesco and asda i've then got h&m zara primark i think that's it i think oh no and next so the first thing i'm going to speak about is the top that i have on at the moment it's like a stretchy ribbed top with this kind of i don't know racer front do you say it's the same at the back but this kind of racer detail i love this cut of neckline i think it's very flattering on myself i don't know why um but it just seems to make me feel like as if i'm a little bit more slim here uh, as opposed to when i've got a normal top on in saying that i always put my hair over the top anyway so it really doesn't matter but this was 10 pounds from tesco of all places this is a current purchase and as you can see i have the kind of khaki color here but they also had it in a kind of chartreuse and i want to say beige as well. I love these kind of tops because I live in jeans. Jeans are my favourite, these are easy to tuck into jeans, but also these can easily be worn with a skirt, with other kinds of trousers, smart trousers as well. I think easily dressed up or easily casual like this. Wonderful, £10. Cracking. Sorry, I've had to put the camera down there. I realised I was like standing on my tiptoes to actually see into the camera there. So that's a bit of a more normal level for me. Next up is another item from Tesco, which I have fell in love with and so pleased that I found it. Now this is in a size 14. It is a boiler suit kind of style jumpsuit thing. I will put clips in of me trying these on as well because I know that trying to see it in the camera like this isn't the best. Now this costs 28 pounds from Tesco and as I say, it is current. The reason I thought this was wonderful is they don't only have it in this khaki color, but they also have it in that funny, salmon peach colour and I am almost certain that Topshop have got the exact same boiler suit at the moment. It may have a bit more detailing around the pockets and things like that, the one in Topshop, but it is a fraction of the cost of this one. Now I tried um, the salmon pink one on in the 12 and it was far too tight across the hips. Fit me everywhere else but the hips, I, you could see it, it was pinching and it just wasn't flattering. I could have got away with it, I don't think anybody would have ever commented on it but me personally I wouldn't have felt comfortable in it. Now I had picked up the salmon pink one and the khaki both in a 12 and funnily enough the khaki one in the 12 actually fit okay. There wasn't half as much tightness round about the hips, it was a bit strange but I'd asked the lady already to go and pick me up a 14 just so I could see what the sizing was like in that. When I put on the 12 in the khaki it fit fine over the top, absolutely fine very slightly tighter around the hip but in no way shape or form the way that the salmon pink one was. 
So I thought, oh, the 14 is gonna be massive, far too big. But actually when I put it on, I loved the oversized look of it. So as I say, there will be a cutaway and you will see what this looks like on me. If you can imagine the 12 was basically more like a cigarette pant on the bottom, um, not skin tight, but just a bit more tapered. Whereas this one obviously is a lot more oversized and baggy and I really like that. Moving on to my next supermarket buy, it is this jumpsuit in this beautiful kind of crisp apple green, emerald green color and it is a wide leg culotte style jumpsuit. This was from Georgia Asda and it is a size 12 and it was 18 pounds. But annoyingly, I went into Asda the other day and seen it in the sale rack. So you probably get it for cheaper now. I didn't even want to look at the price of it because I thought that'll just fucking annoy me. So this did come with a little belt as well. There are loops here to put through the belt. Personally, I put my own style of belt on it. I didn't feel the need to be just keeping this little tie on it, but it's an option. I think this is beautiful. I will take this away on holiday with me. It's very, very light and airy. And although it is from Asda, it actually has a kind of, I wouldn't say satin, but it's not a plain, just polyester material. It's got a bit of a sheen to it and it's very, very pretty. I think you could wear this for a wedding, as a wedding guest, easily, or a night out. Just over the summer time wearing this, even if you're going into town, doing a bit of shopping, more casual with flat shoes, I think this is glorious. It has a little bit like keyhole neckline here as well, and it is a zipper down the back. Now this is one of these situations again, when I'm trying on things like jumpsuits. This is a 12 and actually I feel that this fits me over the hips just fine and is very, very flattering. I also got a pair of green sunglasses ages ago, like before the sun even ever reappeared from New Look, which are the exact same shade of green. You will see them in the cutaway that I put here and they match perfectly. So I'm really, really pleased with this. Right, moving on to actual high street now. The first item from Primark. Now, I got this, I knew that was gonna happen. Oof. I had my lunch before I made this video and I was trying so hard to burp before I started speaking. <laughs> and as soon as I started speaking, all the burps want to come and that's just so unattractive. Sorry, not nice, I apologize. So the first item that I picked up from Primark is this white, very, very sweet kind of summer linen cheesecloth effect little dress. It has tortoiseshell buttons down the front and a little bow tie as well and bow tie sleeves. Now this is a size 12 and it fits me perfectly. I'm really, really happy with the style and the fit of this. Um, basically, I'll put a little photo in here. I think I wore it on Easter Sunday. That's how long I've had it. It's not just been picked up recently. But I did still see it in Primark when I was in there recently looking for some other holiday options. I can't remember the exact price of this, but I want to say it was either 12 or 18 pounds. It was in that kind of range. I don't think it was over 20, and I don't think it was as low as 10. It's so, so nice. It has massive big pockets on the front. I love having big pockets on a dress, especially if you're gonna wear it very casually with trainers and things like that. You could wear it with summer sandals as well and dress it up with heels if you wanted. But I think this is very, very sweet. And I thought, especially with a tan, that's gonna look lovely. Next up from Primark, I picked up a couple of pair of shorts. Now, the funny thing is about these shorts, uh, as I mentioned at the start, I kind of go 12 to 14 in most shops. I picked up these ones, which are really quite sweet, kind of little, it's actually more like a wooden or a cork button that's on them. I'm sorry if the light's going in and out, I'm facing the, the window and this, it's the sun, you know? Um, and they have a kind of just, again, linen style striped short. They're very, very comfortable. They have a big, massive baggy waistband. Now I picked these up in the 14 and the 12, and when I took them into the Primark dressing room, the 12 fit no problem but the 14 just seemed to sit so much better. It was very comfortable over my hips and I thought, I just want it to be more comfy. It's got a lovely big baggy waist. I want to be able to pull them on and off round about the pool over the top of bikinis. So I did get them in the bigger size. And saying that, when I picked up the second pair, these obviously have actual belt loops. I don't know if you can see there, little buttons and actual belt loops. And I thought, because these are more fitted, these are gonna end up, I need, I'm gonna need the 14. But actually, over the hips, these were very flattering on the 12. 
and the 14 on the waist was gaping because it's an actual fitted waistband. So the 14 was actually too big in these and I had to get the 12 and I think they fit really nicely. I think these are so cute. I think it's just little polka dot shorts. Both of these cost eight pounds. They didn't cost a heck of a lot. And following my declutter, I actually cleared out quite a lot of more relaxed style shorts. I kept all my denim ones, but all of the kind of beachside ones I probably had for the better part of four or five years. So I did clear them out. So I needed a couple of new pairs. Moving on to Zara. The first thing is this little yellow, and it is really more of a crop top style. When I put it on, it is definitely more of a crop top style top. But I love a kind of just basic t-shirt from Zara. It has a raw edged hem, it's just basically an overlocked edge. Just a really cute cotton kind of striped t-shirt. Now I do have kind of Breton style white and navy striped t-shirts and I do have red and white striped t-shirts, I think even from Zara. But I didn't have any in this lovely mustard colour which is the colour of the moment and probably has been over the last year. So I thought I would pick this one up. Next from Zara, I picked up this um, beautiful, I don't know, you wouldn't call it a gown, I wouldn't say. It's a wrap round dress, but it's this sateen type of shiny and soft silky material and it is polka dot. I'm afraid mine's is a hell of a crushed because it has been sitting in a bag until I filmed this. This is a medium size and it has like oversized puff sleeves, you know the kinds you used to see in the 80s or like you would see princesses like Disney princess or whatever on their ball gown. They have like this cuff on them uh, with a little button at the back and then big puffy sleeves. Now on the hanger this really doesn't look like much and to be fair if I had seen it I probably wouldn't have picked it up but I did see Alex from I Covet Thee wearing this I want to say back mid-March, basically when it was still snowing in Scotland and London was getting a bit of sun and she had posted an Instagram post wearing this and I thought that's gorgeous, what a beautiful dress. So when I seen it in the store I thought right I need to try that on. This is 39.99 and the size I got is a medium. Um, I think this is going to be lovely. Because it's a wrap round dress you can have it being like a nice big split up the side as well depending on how you tie it or you could just tie it round at the back, it really depends. The dip is relatively low but I'm going to take some boob tape with me when I go and I think for evenings this is going to be really nice and relaxed but also very very kind of chic and a bit classy looking and chic and classy? me doesn't usually happen but I think this is going to look really really nice and I think even with flat sandals or heels I think even with heels it might look too much so I think I would probably just wear it with a nice pair of flat sandals I think if I put it on with heels it might look like I was trying too hard but it's so so nice and I'm so glad I picked it up I'm looking forward to being able to wear it not only this uh, holiday but also throughout the summer next I'm moving on to H&M where I think is where I've caused the most amount of damage to my bank account. So first up is another white dress. I know what you're gonna think, you've just got the cream work on, why do you need this one? But it's totally different, I promise. I promise it's totally different. So this is much more broderie anglais. You can see here, uh, right across the front, this beautiful kind of embroidered pattern with really big, like, lace detail, well, not lace, just kind of frill detailing up the side. This reminds me of when I was in primary six or something, which I don't, like, what age would I have been? Eight years old, nine years old, at primary school. And we had to do a Victorian day. Like we all came in dressed as Victorians and you had to pretend to write on a chalkboard and all that kind of stuff. And I remember like, this was the style. Like this was kind of Victoriana schoolgirl, like this kind of apron style. Um, and the bottom is tiered and I think it's beautiful. It's so, so nice, even though people will be thinking that's so old fashioned now that you've said that. But I really, really like this. It's so cute. It's something that I will bring out year after year. I've picked up so many dresses like this, I want to say over the last maybe 15 years from H&M. And I'm only just now starting to throw some of them away. So I know that that new dress is going to get lots and lots of wear. I love things like that, very pretty, stick it on my pair of Converse, walk about sunglasses on, summertime sorted, or stick it on my nice pair of kind of block wedges and then boom, you're there, night out on holiday, done. Love them. Now the next one from H&M is a kind of bodysuit, yeah, bodysuit, that is exactly what it is. 
uh, with great little spaghetti straps, which I'm loving the very kind of 90s vibe of this, uh, but not too 90s. I feel like I really like some parts of the 90s vibe and other things of this 90s trend, I'm like, why? Why would you do that? But I remember being 19 and there being an 80s trend and my mum thinking, why is that came back? And me being like, it's awesome. That's exactly how I feel about the 90s trend just now. Some things I see young men or women wearing, I think that is horrific. And other things I think, oh, I used to love that. That's really nice. I mean, I went into New Look the other day and they had a black, like strappy like this dress, kind of just slip dress with a white t-shirt under it. If you had a dress like that growing up in primary school, I'm sure I did, like when I was in maybe primary four, primary five, in the 90s, one of those little just black strappy dresses with a white t-shirt underneath, then please tell me down below because I remember them and I see them everywhere just now. <laughs> anyway, back to the haul. So this is a kind of strappy bodysuit, as you can see here, you strap yourself in and it is just a mustard fine stripe print. It's quite nice actually because it has a bit of kind of inlay inside for a bit of extra support. It's not just a, a single kind of layer to it which I thought was quite nice. I've been wearing this tucked into jeans just as I am today and I have been loving it. I worked to the pub the other night, sung a bit of karaoke in it <laughs> um, and I just think it's really easy, simple. It would be able to be layered under skirts as well or as I say smart trousers and I really really enjoyed this. Again I can't remember the exact price, maybe $19.99 for this one. And the last proper clothing piece from H&M is this and you're going to think what is summerful about that or summery about that? Summerful? Is that even a word? So this is a knitted jumper from H&M uh, and actually I got it in the sale. So I got it for £8. And the reason that I picked this up is because it's one of these like slash necks across the top. I've lost all the sunlight now. It's one of these slash necks across the top and actually I really like how kind of weirdly grown up grunge it is. I can just imagine, like, cause it's like a bit of a drop shoulder here, wearing it with jeans, letting them hang off a little bit. I really like it. And when these were in at full price in H&M, I don't know how many times whenever I went in, I tried this on, this exact jumper. So when I seen it, it went into the sale for eight pounds. I thought, yeah, okay, I'm happy with it. I'm taking it now. And even if I don't wear it this summer, then I will definitely wear it in the autumn and the winter. But I think in Scotland, there is every full chance that I'm going to be wearing this in the summer. Um, it is not going to be warm enough to not have a jumper at some point. So that's that. Now I'm just going to talk about a few other pieces that I picked up in kind of odd places uh, before I move on to bikinis. For the simple reason, I'm not going to be doing shots of me in a bikini. Um, I'm body confident and all that, I don't mind, I'm quite happy. But I think there is part of me, maybe it's the older part of me that just feels like I'm not ready to have my almost naked body on the internet quite yet. Not quite yet. Maybe in a photo, but not on film anyway. So first of all, I picked up this really plain white t-shirt. It's very, very nice, very nice quality cotton from Monkey. Now, the only thing I'm gonna say is this was 15 pounds. Now, I picked this up because I really liked the style of it. I really like a nice crisp white t-shirt. It's got a lovely kind of little round neck there and I thought just tucked into a pair of blue jeans, that will look gorgeous. But if I'm honest with myself, would I buy it again? I've not even had it on yet. Probably not because I know I can get really good t-shirts from the likes of H&M. Um, the reason I picked this up is because I was in there, I tried it on with jeans while I was there and I thought, oh, that looks really nice. But in hindsight, I maybe should have returned this. This is in medium, uh, it's obviously too late to return it now and I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't not wear it. I will wear it, so I will keep a hold of it. But just for the matter of value for money, I think you probably get um, the same or similar kinds of t-shirts in H&M for a much lesser price. Um, but this was £15 and I do like it and I will keep it, but that's probably my only regret so far. Now these bad boys are awesome. These are from Next and they are cropped, um, kind of three quarter length uh, and it's a raw hem as well. Cream denim jeans. I love them. They are wide leg, high rise, everything I want in a pair of jeans and they're cream so I can wear them in the summer. Um, I would probably wear them in the winter as well, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, 
white denim, summer, kind of goes. This is a 12 regular and they are from Next. Now, I got these for £9 in the sale. I don't know why they were in the sale, because we're going into summer. Why, why were your white jeans in the sale in the mid-summer sale? I have no idea. Or is it mid-season sale? You know that bit where before they bring all their summer stuff in and they're trying to get rid of some of the winter stuff, but it's not the January sales. It was in that sale. And basically, these were £9. I ordered these online and the last time I checked, there was still some available. So I will link them down below if they're still available because that is a miraculous price, a marvellous price um, for these really, really good quality jeans. Um, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on white denim because I thought it might be something I would get and try on and then never really wear. So when I seen these ones, which are really, really good quality, for such a little price, I was most excited. Right, let's talk bikinis. Um, basically, I still have a few from last year that I will not be getting rid of. I have a full length swimsuit, a red one that's kind of like a Baywatch style uh, swimsuit and I will be keeping that as well. But quite a lot of bikinis got thrown away in the purge for the simple reason, again, I have had them for a very, very long time. So I thought I would pick up a few new ones. Now, this is no word of a lie, when I done my H&M order online, I only ordered bikinis, uh, the other stuff I actually went in store and picked up, but I only ordered bikinis and I spent nearly £180 on bikinis. That's how many I ordered to see what I would like and I have kept three. So I returned everything else back. Um, three I think? Yeah, three. I've kept three. Now the first is, um, the first two are matching sets as bikinis would be, but the other last set is a mixture because I think that some bikinis really, you can mix and match and I've bought black bottoms so I think they will go with a lot of different stuff that I already have. Now I think my bikinis are actually, they kind of range in size. Um, I didn't get all of them in like 14s or all of them in 12s. Again, just because of style and stuff, these have bows on the side, so I know I've got a little bit of give or take here. So I got the 12 in these. Um, these are just like polka dot ones, kind of bikini um, Brazil style, is that what you call them? Like they're, they're ones that probably come quite high on your backside. Um, and because I've got the ties at the side, I think that they'll be flattering enough that I didn't need them on a 14. They would have been a bit baggy in a 14. Now the top to this is going to be really tricky to actually show you. Um, I might even just put it on over this so you can see. <laughs> because it's one of these like wrap around styles. So you do this with all your frills and what have you and it's just the normal strap at the back and then you tie like that and then tie it around yourself like so. Now I do have a bra on at the moment so you might be looking at this thinking there's not going to leave much of the imagination there but once my bra's on there's <laughs> there's not that much to fill these I promise you. So that's the first one as you can see there kind of that style. I thought it was really pretty. I really like the kind of frills on it. I think that's really sweet. But anyway that looks a little bit silly on top of the top. So that's the first one. Now I ordered quite a few kind of leopard print bikinis when I was doing my big massive haul of bikinis but I actually ended up really enjoying this kind of more orange rust effect rather than classic leopard print just so it was a little bit different now this is i don't know do you want to call it tanga style i don't i don't know i don't even know what you call it um but it's kind of like got the it's just a strap at the side which for me who has a massive bum and thighs and all about that back base back whatever the flip you want to call it um this is actually really flattering for me because i can pull them up so they're a little bit more 80s style high leg and it makes my legs look a tiny bit longer than the short stumpy things they actually are. Now I got these ones in a 14 because as I said, the other ones were you can actually tie them yourself. I wanted to get these in a 14 because A, there's a lot less material and B, when this is round my hips, I didn't want these bits digging in to the sides. So I thought I'd be more flattering if I got the 14 in these ones. But I got a 12 in the top half. And this is just your basic kind of triangle style bikini. The frill and the strap at the back is the same as the side straps on the bottoms. So it's got gold detailing on the back, um, but I think that's quite nice. And actually, there's lots of variations of this print on H&M at the moment. Uh, I tried on the kind of more crop top style. I also tried on, was it just a more classic like bikini style? 
I can't remember. I tried on a few of them and I came to the, the decision that actually this one was probably the most flattering on me. So I got this one. And finally, I picked up this one, which is exactly the same as the leopard print bottoms, but I picked them up in a black because I think these will be more interchangeable. So I could wear this with the leopard print ones, I could wear this with the spotty one, or I could wear it with the top that you will see in two seconds. Again, in a size 14, um, but they're exactly the same ones, essentially. And the last top that I picked up was this. It was much more of a bardot style kind of crop top. Uh, in this beautiful yellow colour but it's really really pretty on. Now I bought this to go with the black bottoms but again I think this could be worn with a rust leopard print one or even the spotty ones and still all go together really nicely and I quite like to mix and match bikinis so that's the last bikini top. And lastly some shoes promise you we're almost there. Um, so I picked up, first of all, I'm gonna talk about these ones because I've been wearing them and they're not brand spanking new anymore. I've got big A's on the bottom of them, look. They are from a company called Anna Capri um, and they are like this kind of woven leather fabric uh, with a white sole kind of just loafers. Would you call them loafers? I suppose you would. Um, and I got these, I'm sure, for like eight pound in TK Maxx or something. I thought they were so sweet. I can't believe how nice they are. Um, I just thought for kicking about, as opposed to taking my Converse or, you know, just a different option and taking Converse or wearing Converse. So I really like these. And as I say, like eight pound in TK Maxx. I also picked these ones up in TK Maxx as well. These are part of um, Steve Madden. See, whenever I see Steve Madden shoes in TK Maxx, I can't help but think about that bit in the Wolf of Wall Street when the guy's like, Steve Madden, and he's on the quaaludes. Like, it, it just every time makes me think about that part of that movie. Um, but again, these are just like little flatties uh, with a kind of basket weave leather over the top and I thought these were really cute. I think these will go really nicely and again makes a little bit of a difference from having just your bog standard flip flops on holiday. Um, so I thought these were really really cute. And lastly I picked up these sandals from New Look. Now these are real leather sandals which I thought from New Look was pretty impressive. They're so cute, they have this little like leopard print across them as well but they're really really nice. They're just flat little sandals. And I don't have the price on the bottom anymore because I did wear them. I think I wore them with that little white dress actually from the picture I had on Easter Sunday. So I have had them on already, but I want to say they were maybe a bit more expensive than you would expect for a new look. I want to say they were maybe like £24.99 or £20. I'll look, I'll look online and I'll link them below if they're still there. See, I think these could be worn with that green jumpsuit, you know, like the emerald green jumpsuit I showed you at the start. I think they could be worn with that and it would really dress it up a wee bit, but still be comfy and flat on your holiday. So I'm really, really pleased with these. Anyway, so that is the end of my collective haul or kind of shopping that I have done in the last kind of two to three months. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've probably realised already that I have changed the name of this channel. I did do a little video just explaining as to why I have done that, so if you haven't seen that then please click above and you will be able to see. Otherwise, at this point I will be sunning myself either on a beach or a by a pool somewhere uh, and I hope you're all having a lovely time while I'm doing that. If you follow me over on Instagram you will get updates on that as well. It also means that you will get to see any kind of snapshots and things and how I've styled these items and how I have been wearing them on my holiday or just in the summer in general in Scotland. Anyway, enough rambling and I hope you all have a lovely day and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!